When building your haunted house, it's important to keep safety in mind. Use only fire retardant materials, especially plastic sheeting. Lights can get extremely hot. Keep your bulbs appropriately housed and also away from fabrics. LED lights don't get as hot and are a great alternative to standard light bulbs. Keep fire extinguishers nearby and test your smoke detectors. Make sure all electrical items are grounded and use heavy duty extension cords. Secure cords high to avoid trips and falls. Keep tips like these in mind for a fun and safe Halloween. So Kristen, are you ready to show us I am your ready. magic? Kristen knows how to transform anything new to make it old. That's right. And my shanty room right here. <laughs> Cardboard, old books, old animal bones. So I want to make these jars look old. Old. So we have some red iodine here. Uh -huh. They make it clear now. If you just rub it on, it gives it that like really dirty old look. Mm. Terrible. And then you f you can fill these things now with like dried also mushrooms. Has a collection of yeah. horrible things. They're not so horrible. Horrible things. Little dead mice. Where are those With dead the mice? The mice are right here. A mole and a mouse. Oh my goodness! I'll show the show the little turtles. Oh, and then these were just your little pet turtles. Pet turtles. I feel bad. What are you going to flush them down the toilet? No, you are not. You're going to preserve them just, in rubbing I, alcohol. Exactly. Isopropyl alcohol. That's it. Rubbing alcohol. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I have a nice... Right, and then you let it dry, and it's always yes. going to be like a little tacky. If you just do this, and do drips down the side, Oh yeah. Okay. you get even grosser. Okay. You can fill these jars with items from your home or garden. Find things that you have in your garage, in your but attic. But whose eyeballs are these? Those, Aaron brought those in, they're, they're vintage. They're from old dolls, yeah. right? They're from they're dolls. They're amazing. But fun things like that make it so creepy. One should use found objects. Old shutters are broken, birds' feathers that you find, bird cages Old bird without cages. birds, a washboard. <laughs> Martha, you're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and then we're doing this touch bin thing that's really yeah, cool that with the kids. Is really where you stick great. your hand in so, a spandex top so they don't know what they're sticking their right, hand in. Right. Could be slimy, could be spiky, could grab you, you never know. Okay. You never know in the shanty house. Creepy. The kids yes. are gonna love it. I'm gonna freak them out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a relief to be out of the voodoo shanty and into the real doctor's office. This is Dr. Figgy, and he has lots of interesting things to show us, of right? Of course, Martha, yes. We're gonna start by showing this fabulous glow water. This is actually just the inside of a simple highlighter. A highlighter has a fabulous ink in it called pyranine, which is a phosphorescent ink, okay. which means it absorbs ultraviolet light from a black light, which we can't see ultraviolet light because it's outside of the visible spectrum, but then it absorbs that light and emits it as light we can see, which mm. is this glow that we get from right. the water. This is non-toxic, so you just want to simply pry off the bottom with a pair of pliers, and then I like to get all the ink, so I use the pliers to also pull out oh, yes. that. And then a pair of tweezers inside, and this felt mm. holds all that ink. And I'm just putting it here into two cups of water and let it set for a few hours, and then you get That's what this you get? gorgeous water Ooh, here. Fluorescent water, look and at the color. Yeah, it does so well <laughs> under the black light. You wanna squeeze it out when you're done. You can use it to make so many different things. So pour that into here, and we're gonna make a fun substance. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. This is just cornstarch? Just 16 ounces, one pound box of cornstarch. And you add the two cups of water. The effect here we're getting is a non-Newtonian fluid. Oh my so god. So this substance, this <gasps> cornstarch and water, Look at the color. we start mixing it together. And of course it's this color because we have a black light Of course. above. Get yourself some good black lights. <laughs> so see, when you try to mix it, 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 it behaves like a solid. Yes. It's exactly what oh. quicksand does, because when you try to move, it holds you. Right. And then when you stop to move, it reliquifies and you sink into it. <laughs> and this is always a, a fun thing to have in the lab. Oh, I love for this. For the kids to play with. Oh, it's so great. Yes. And then when you it let it go. phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And what about the slime? 
Slime is a simple combination of two solutions, one with white glue and water, and instead we use the glow water, and the other is with borax and the glow water. And you mix them together and it forms this fabulous polymer. This is so much fun. So you can see why I like this room very much. We're gonna check in with Dr. Figgy a little bit later to see what he's conjuring up for the children. For the children, of course. Okay, very scary. <laughs> It'll be an amazing entrance to your haunted house. Ooh. I think we're going to have a lot of people making a lot of scary creatures oh, this, I hope so. this Halloween.